matchup for the UFC light heavyweight division title. All right, here he is making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new UFC light heavyweight champion. He is the number one ranked 205 pound contender and is finally realizing the title fight here tonight. He believes he has a lot of advantages in this fight. He believes he's the better man. Look at the confidence on his face. No UFC jitters for this man. He is out to prove tonight that this champion is a one trick pony and that he is the best light heavyweight on the planet. We'll see if he can turn those words into actions here in short order. Well, he has joined a long list of Hall of Fame types. Chuck Liddell, John Jones, Daniel Cormier. Now this man is the hunted at 205 pounds. He is the UFC light heavyweight champion. He has defended the belt. He has proven without a shadow of a doubt that he's the best 205er in the world. A lot of momentum with the challenger here tonight, though. A lot of people think we're getting a new champion. The champion is not among those. We'll see if this man can walk out the same way he walked in as the undisputed light heavyweight champion of the world. Now let's get you our tale of the date for this light heavyweight championship fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, just about ready to go here now for the particulars. We go inside the octagon here. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. to lock the expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Beautiful strike. Got clip with the right hand. Nice, sneaky head kick. Rock him, suck him out of the shoot here. Vlahovic's uppercut, but that one is blocked. Oh! Looked like he might have landed there instead. A swing and a miss by Vlahovic. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination. Gets on the feet. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. This guy has a very oh, bad. Nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Single collar tie now. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. right hand again back into this position oh single collar tie here big knee land right to the opponent's midsection 
Wachowicz gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Jan Wachowicz. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind-up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Oh, I guess the takedown late in the round. Oh, he might have got him with the choke. Oh, nice. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, round two. Wachowicz's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landing. All right, let's go. Let's get those Throwing that going. jab yet again out of range. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Wachowicz. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in <laughs> Tom Brady. Stop it. Straight connection right up the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Oh! Oh! This is here, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Back to the feet. Oh, he got it back. Good work from the top here by Wachowicz. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Switching stances here. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Big Paul punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, 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 oh. This fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high to the point of his own low. And now he's got him hurt very bad. Left hand punch from the clinch. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Oh, now he's in trouble. Oh, wow. Oh! Wow. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Blahovic. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. So there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. 
Nice defense there. Huge block. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Down. Oh, can't put any weight on it. Big kick lands. Oh, nice straight left there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Just misses there with the left. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? single collar tie. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, big punch land. Back to the jab now, no good. Plus right hand is true. Back and forth we go. Oh, big right hand, yes. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's oh. hurt bad. And just like that, the fight is over. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly, so... Near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, nine seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Well, there are a few things as exciting in this sport as the crowning of a new UFC champion. Congrats to the new light heavyweight king. And at 205 pounds, he joins a pantheon of UFC all-times. I mean, he joins a laundry list of great fighters. Randy Couture, Tito Ortiz, John.